Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Man and the rest of our coaching team, and we're going to go over this week's Tabata workout for you. So for this workout, we're going to have four stations. It's going to be two exercises per station. We're going to go 20 seconds hard work, 10 seconds to switch. We're going to do two to four exercise, or two to four sets, and then go around the room to one or two times. It depends on the coach's mood that day, I guess. Okay? You ready, Coach Man? Okay, so station number one, we're starting on our rope ways here. Get that butt low, chest up, shoulders back, so you're in that quarter squat position. Now, the further out you get those arms, the more challenging this is going to be. So as you're starting to feel it, you can bring those arms a little bit closer, but don't slow down on those ropes if you can. Nice and fast hands here. The second exercise is our slider uh, climbers here. So we're going to get set up in our plank position, feet on those sliders. Matt's pushing the ground away from him as he drives one knee up. Notice how he's extending that other leg as far as he can here. You can always slow this down to get more intentional if you need to. You can do this without the sliders as well, of course, or you can just hold that plank at any point if you need to. There we go, back and forth on those two. Nice job, Coach. From there, we're coming over to station number two. We got Coach Cat over here. She's on the Echo bike, just pushing and pulling. As pulling, as pulling. Oh, good job, Cat. Okay, that's an exercise here. We're coming off the bikes and we're gonna be doing our slot, or excuse me, our squat lunges now. So get low in that squat, trying to stay low the entire time here, stepping back into that lunge, right? So we're not trying to shift too much here. We're gonna keep some of that weight on those quads the entire time here. Now, obviously, if the squat lunges are an issue for any reason, you can always work some pulse squats, iso squat, or body weight squats here as well. So make that adjustment if you need to. Nice job, coach. From there, we're coming all the way across the room to coach. Coach, uh, to Coach Lynn over here, and she's going to be starting with our ball bridges. So, drive those elbows into the floor, pull those feet in, drive those hips up. So, our feet come in, hips go up, hips down, feet out. Now, if you can, you can keep those hips up the entire time, even as you go out here and pull back in. Or you can do that power bridge where you go from the floor, drive up, and pull at the same time. Now that one's a lot of work for those hamstrings, so give yourself a couple reps of the other ones to get ready for that one if you want to give it a try here. The second exercise, we're just going to come to our forearms on the ball, and we're going to stir the pot here. So start by focusing on your plank, glutes squeezed, kneecaps pulled up, everything's working here, and then you're going to make some circles. Start small with those circles, keeping the ground, or keep those elbows pushed away, and then if you can, go a little bit bigger. Obviously, if you need to, you can work this from your knees as well, or you can just focus on holding that plank. You can always go down to the floor and work the floor plank as well. There, nice job. And then from there, we're over to our last station. Coach Matt's back, and he's showing the TRX squat rows here. So for this, or excuse me, squat jacks. So for this one, you're going to start with your hands and feet together. Now Matt's going to kick those feet apart, sitting into that squat, coming right back up and bringing those feet back together. So sitting into it just like a jumping jack, up and down here. Now you can always step out with this one, side to side on those. You can work those straight squat jacks if you need to take the, or excuse me, straight squats if you need to take the impact out for any reason, make any adjustment you need to here. And then the second exercise is our T-Rex back wings. So this one, Matt's gonna start in that moving plank position, squeezing those shoulder blades, keeping those shoulders down and away from his ears, abs are walled up. If you start to feel your chest fall away from your hands, put one foot back to lighten that load, but really focus on squeezing that shoulder blade between, or excuse me, squeezing that pencil between those shoulder blades. Okay, that's our Tabata workout for this week. Great job, everybody.